Happy October 16th, 2023. Time for After Work Story. We're outside and we're going to read the story underground. You know, a lot of creatures are about to hibernate, go into storage. They got their food and their shelter. And uh, let's see what this is about. Do you ever wonder what creatures live under the dirt beneath your feet? Come down, way down, and explore. Okay, if you insist. Denise Fleming is going to take us underground. And no, that is not the place where we used to listen to house music back in high school. The underground. No, not that place. Not the power plant, not the music box. But we're talking about literally going underground here. For my sister Rochelle. Oh, that's sweet. Beautiful colors. So it looks like she wrote the story and illustrated. It's very beautiful. Low down. Low down. Way down. Ah. Underground, I'm looking at some of my carrots that have toppled over. Need to pick those up. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to pick the worm out. Come on, the worm is just chilling out. Leave him or her alone. Low down, way down, creatures dig. We're just trying to relax and run around. See all these ants just running around and they have their food store. They're not trying to come above ground unless it's very necessary. Past highways and byways. Squirrels or squirm ways and worm ways. Yeah, the squirrel's not there, but they're just squirming underground. Warm ways. Oh. Just want to get away. Digging furrows and burrows. Around roots and bones. Around roots and bones. Sometimes you feel like just getting away. You know, that's why, you know, some people call it the man cave. Now, it doesn't have to always literally be, you know, in the basement. A man cave could be in a garage. But sometimes they just need to get away. Well, guess what? Women need a respite, a haven. It doesn't have to be a cave. But somewhere you need to, to go and have solace. Rocks and stones. Ooh, yeah, I can't wait to get my throw in my tea just curl up yeah that's how that's that's my little cave funneling and tunneling this is hibernation season working their way through sand and clay mm -hmm. low down way down you got the bean cherries Go down, way down. Underground. Okay, so that's it. And they identify some creatures. You have the squirrel. Save extra seeds and nuts by burying them in the ground. When food is scarce, squirrels locate their buried stash by using their excellent sense of smell. Then we have the robin. In the warm months, robins can often be seen in a tug of war with worms, their favorite food, grub. Yeah, grub. Grub are the larvae of beetles. Some beetles lay their eggs underground, while underground the eggs become larvae, the stage before the adult beetle. You know, of course, we have the rabbits. Most rabbits in the U.S. do not dig extensive underground burrows. They dig shallow holes or use other animals' abandoned burrows as nests for their young. Then you have the mole. Moles have strong front legs with large nails for digging. They spend most of their lives underground in search of food such as earthworms. 
Their tunnels have nesting chambers and food storage chambers. The cicada nymph, oh, we have some cicadas, start their lives underground. They begin as eggs and evolve into nymphs. Some cicada species spend 17 years underground before they emerge as a nymph. The emerging nymphs attach themselves to a tree. Oh yes, we have seen so many of those. Or plant and shed their skins when they become adult cicadas. The shrew, I remember a shrew in the grass. The shrew, many shrews raise their young and other animals' burrows. Fox, foxes will often enlarge empty woodchuck burrows to use as dens to their young. Ants live in large underground communities. Their tunnels have chambers for eggs, larvae, and food storage. Then you have the chipmunks are constantly foraging for food to store in their extensive underground tunnels, which include nesting chambers along with storage chambers and several exits. Then you have the woodchucks, uh, which are groundhogs. They, their burrows are deep and have chambers for food storage and nests for offspring. Their burrows all also have escape exits. Woodchucks use their burrows year round. Then you have the deer mouse, Deer mice dig burrows in the ground where they build grass nests. Toads often burrow in the damp soil under rocks. Salamanders burrow under logs or rocks where the soil is moist. Earthworms eat their way through the soil. The soil passes through the worm's body and the resulting waste enriches the soil. Earthworm tunnels aerate and loosen the earth. We need those earthworms. Thank them the next time you see them. Box turtles dig shallow burrows where they lay their eggs. They cover the eggs with soil for protection from predators. Box turtles also spend the cold months. Yep, they're about to go underground. Yellow jackets may build underground paper nests in the hole they have dug or in the abandoned burrows. They chew old wood and plant fiber to make the paper to build their nests. The opening to a nest burrow will appear as a small hole in the soil. If disturbed, yellow jackets become very angry. You know, some dogs are constant diggers. They bury their toys, bones, and food. The baby rabbit, mother rabbits, line shallow holes with grass to make nests to, for their babies. They cover the holes with grass to protect their babies. Garter snakes do not lay eggs. They bear they bear live live young. They bear live young. Sometimes they will birth their young in empty burrows. Hmm. They bear live young, just like we do. Trapdoor spider. Spiders dig tube-like tunnels and wait to snatch passing prey. Denise, you have done a lot of research and work. She has written and illustrated 18 picture books. Her illustrations are created by Pope painting a paper making technique denise lives in toledo with her hubby david with whom she often collaborates it's nice to have a partner to do cool things like this thank you so much for this great project girl you worked a lot these illustrations are magnificent and you uncovered a lot of interesting information so like i said find your girl cave boy cave woman cave man cave but let's get ready to hibernate, chill, rest, relax, and reflect. Good evening.